Minister, let's first start with this question that uh, was uh, raised at that press briefing. Why was Tiger Brands not uh, invited to the announcement yesterday? That was a press conference of the state, and I didn't understand it that we should invite any other person. What we did in terms of fair administrative justice was to inform them, because we had had a meeting with them before. They were visited. They knew what we were doing. To inform them that we got results, and this is what the results are saying, and we are going public with them so that they don't hear from the press. That we have done. Now, that we are supposed to invite them to a press conference, I don't know f for what. That press conference was attended by government departments, the Department of Health, the Department of Trade and Industry, the Department of Agriculture, the National Institute of Communicable Disease, which is a state institution, the National Consumer Commission. Uh, yes, and, and, and those are the, the structures that are state structures related to that field. There was no other outsider or any other company because what what what, what will I be telling the public? Uh, to, to call the very same people that the state is regulating I in a press conference where you are reporting this type of thing and the type of things that maybe they, could, they did not do. So we informed them and that was enough. Uh, Minister, in the press conference, there was a question that was uh, almost asked by every journalist of the direct uh, link between Tiger Brands and the 180 deaths and uh, the hundreds of incidents of Listeria that have been reported. Uh, and they have, re they have responded saying that there's no direct link. What is your response to this? Well, of course, obviously they are being legalistic. The fact remains that we had an outbreak of Listeria monocytogenes in South Africa. We know the number of people who were affected. At the time of the press conference, it was 948. And we know that out of that, 180 have passed on because of this outbreak. And we have done whole genome sequencing and discovered that there are nine sequence types. But out of those nine, 91% had one sequence type, uh, ST6. And we concluded that that's the one that is driving the, the outbreak, is the origin of the outbreak, the ST6. Because 91% of the people who suffered have got that strain. And we're busy looking for that strain. And we linked it and we found it in, in the Enterprise Factory in Pulogwale through the nine uh, uh, kindergarten uh, uh, kids who who went to Chris Hani Baragonath Hospital with febrile gastroenteritis. Fortunately, none of them has passed on, but through those kids, when you took samples, we link it to them. Now, I'm not going to sit there in the form of a judge and say that evidence constitutes a direct link. I'll leave, it, I'll, I'll leave that to the legal profession, honestly. I can't pronounce on that. All we know is that the 180 deaths were caused by the outbreak of Listeria monocytogenes, an outbreak which even cost us to make it a notifiable disease when it was not for the past 40 years. We had to start notifying it because of the, the, the changes that have taken place. So we are linking the deaths to Listeria because then the death certificate will have said so. And that's why the NICD calls them and uh, said 180 people. It means the doctor wrote there and linked them to Listeria. As to whether the law will be able to then link specifically with uh, the enterprise factory or, or to, to, to Tiger Brands. I'm sure I'll, I'll have to leave that to the legal profession or the judiciary for that matter. You said that that cost you as a department. How much did that cost you as a department? And secondly, do you think that the companies in question are doing enough to actually uh, solve this problem? Well, for now, it's too, too early because we started yesterday. But what I can confirm, I don't think they did enough in terms of safeguarding, the, 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 especially the enterprise factory. From evidence at our disposal, they certainly did not do enough to make sure that the, 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 their produce, what they are producing there, is safe for consumption by the public. That, I believe, uh, uh, they didn't do. 
but as to whether they are doing enough now in after the aftermath, we, we still have to assess it's too early, it's less than 24 hours. Uh, what are the steps that the department are going to take moving, is going to take rather, uh, moving forward to monitor this, this situation? And also, uh, are you considering legal action against uh, the affected uh, brands? Well, uh, I don't know what form of legal action. You mean on behalf of yes. the, the patients? I, I, I believe the best way is for that to be a civil case rather than a government case. The, the action we are, we are allowed to take by law is to look at the respective legislation and see where there's been a breach. For instance, there are many departments that are involved in, in the issue of food production. It's agriculture, they've got their own laws, they've got veterinary services with their, within agriculture with their own laws. It's trade and industry who are the ones that give licenses to whoever wants to trade. Obviously, that license will come with conditions. Is the municipalities, under municipalities, who are empowered by the constitution, uh, because that function of what we used to call health in inspectors, it used to be a health function, but the constitution uh, devolved it as a municipality function but the Foodstuffs Cosmetic and Disinfectant Act is resident within the Department of Health. Because of that, in 2010, I wrote a letter devolving the, that act to the municipalities. That was done in, in 2010. Uh, 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 and so we are going to look into all those, the municipalities, trade and industry, agriculture, health, but also the National Co uh, Co Consumer Commission, because it also have got a role to play in safeguarding the interest of consumers. Then we'll put them together and say, but this one was breached and the authority that must take action is this. And in the law, it prescribed that the type of action to be taken is this one. Then we'll go to the next one. But the issue about civil liability, you are aware that it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a legal issue. It's a civil matter which must be taken uh, with the courts.